السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear student of third secondary We are going to solve the questions of Egyptian knowledge bank We have questions today for chapter 1 Transition element We have different parts for this chapter Okay, we have the first part today Part 1, let's start with our first question Okay, question number 1 says that Which of the following is not transition metal? Okay we know that transition metal and their properties we have cobalt, rubidium, strontium, potassium and gold. Okay, do you think which one will be not a transition metal? All of these are transition metal except one from the alkali metals. We have the potassium. It's one metal and very strong metal but not from the transition metal. They are from, it is from what? It is from the alkali metals group one okay group one a. let's going to question two says that which of the following is not common property of transition metal we have a different properties okay we know that the property of transition metal and they all the properties that are characteristic for this kind of metals but one of these not what not our property today okay we have the first one they form multiple stable ions okay they are good catalyst they are easily vaporized do you think that okay they form colorful ions and the last one they are good thermal conductors okay which one will be the right answer here okay they are very heavy metals and they give different oxidation or multiple stable lines and also catalysts we use them as a strong catalyst like nickel and iron okay also they have different colorful and very he helpful colorful each one will give different colors and also they are thermal conductors or good conductor of heat the one that not our property today will be easily vaporize okay they are very strong metals and they take a huge number to heat it this till reaches to 3000 degree okay let's go into question three which of the following is not common property of the transition metal also we have strong colorful shiny dense and electrically conductor okay we have here strong we want not a common property not our property today okay we have strong colorful which one will be will be not common property of transition metal colorful means that they are have a color but in the case of ions not in the normal okay if we take in them most of them black in color but we have not common property for a transition metal they are colorful no but in the case of ions only in the case of ions they form colorful ions not in the ordinary state or in the normal state okay there is a big difference between this question and the previous one please try to concentrate when you are solving questions it will be make a conflict with them okay let's go to question four question four says that the transition metals and alkali metals have a few features in common but are different in many ways okay we want which of the following statement is false okay Alkali metals and transition metals giving uh, similarities between them. Okay, the first one here, transition metal produce less colorful compound than alkali metal. Second one, alkali metals have lower melting point and boiling point than transition metal. Okay, I think it's truly the number B, truly right. Okay. Alkali metals are not widely used as a catalyst, yes, as they are very active, 
metals okay while transition metals are yes they are catalyst we said that they are very active we use it as a catalyst that make a help in reactions transition metals are harder and stronger than alkali metals yes most of them comparing to the alkali metals and have a higher density comparing than the alkali metals transition metals have a larger number of stable oxidation states than alkali metals yes they give a large number of oxidation states from what from plus three or plus four plus five plus six plus seven losing different number of electrons okay which one will be the our choices or not a true about the common purpose between transition elements and what and alkali metals okay when comparing between them we have the right answer here will be letter a as transition metal produce less colorful compound than alkali metals okay alkali metals different colors and they are giving huge number of colors and comparing metals transition metals in the ordinary states they are less in color but when they make oxidation states or in the case of ions they give what they give a colors but here we are talking about only in the ordinary states okay let's go into question five copper is transition metal while sodium is an alkali metal yes this is a true okay what about which of the following tests would yield similar results for these metals okay we have the product or yield here and we want to make a compare between them and we want common property between copper as a transition metal and sodium as an alkali metal okay we have the first one placing them in cold water okay what happened when sodium is put in al in a basin of water it will make explode yes and giving light color and or light lightning with pop sound that evolving the hydrogen gas okay this is the first one second one heating them to 100 degree okay each one after heating will be different in property okay the number c storing them in dry air okay one of them can be accepted or there is no effect on the alkali metal as they are active in a wetted air only and also copper okay so each of them storing them in dry air okay this will be may be right okay we have the letter d using a hammer to change their shape one of them may be right testing if they are electrically conductive okay if we want to make a test for each one the one of these will be the result for the post metals as copper as transition metal and sodium as an alkali metal okay we have the right answer will be both of them will be a good conductor of electricity or electrically conductive okay this is the right answer but each one will be different in the result in case of placing them in cold water the first here and heating them to 100 we can't heat or we can't make a reaction with sodium as a heating reaction they are thermal also they it is very active and making a thermal effect but comparing copper it is a inactive metal we have storing in dry air we can store copper in dry air but it will make a reaction and also sodium will be heavy it to make a reaction but it will take make oxygen take the oxygen from the air and make a reaction using hammer to change their shapes sodium is a soft in nature and 
we didn't need to make hammer but we can change the copper by hammering and be can be malleable and ductile to form different shapes so if we make a comparing between the two of our metals here so they give the same answer here will be electrically conductive okay let's go to question six question six says that shown in the graph are melting points of the first 56 elements of the periodic table and the grow and the groups in which they occur okay we have transition metals are positioned between the group 3 and 12 which of the following is the most accurate comparison of the melting points shown in the graph we have the comparison here group number and melting point we have the transition metals have higher melting point than almost of the main group elements if we look at the group number most of them have high melting point here if we are making a comparison most of these are in the middle they most have higher melting point okay transition metals have lower melting point than almost of the main group elements transition metals have lower melting point than all of the main group elements and also transition metals and the main group elements display a similar range of melting point and the last one of our choices transition metals have higher melting point than all the group the main group elements okay if we make a comparison that we have here most of them what they have high melting point than most of the main group elements okay we have the main group elements or we call them representative element we have here the group or s block elements and here we have b block elements in the middle we have the transition metal and all the transition metals here have high melting point comparing to the main group elements or representative element here s and b blocks okay let's go to question seven question seven says that which of the following do transition metals not exempt okay so it will be not one of the property or one of the properties of it the first one here they conduct heat and electricity it's yes it's behavior or it's a property for the transition metal they are malleable and ductile yes they are they are have high melting point yes they have they are lustrous yes they are have they most of them shiny they undergo irreversible oxidation what do you mean by this word or by this statement with different words okay when we discuss this is the right answer okay when discuss it oxidation states we have different oxidation states from plus one till plus seven okay what we have here we have a reversible oxidation means when we reach one oxidation state they not change it no when we reaches with iron to oxide we can change it into iron three oxide okay so we have a reversible oxidation or we can make a reversible reaction by changing the oxidation state from the less to the most of them okay so we have reversible oxidation so we can change one of them to uh, the other so it is the right answer for this question let's going to question eight which of the following statements explain why two versions of iron hydroxide fe oh by three or iron three hydroxide and iron two hydroxide fe oh by two exist okay it means that we want to present two kinds of oxidation state here iron 2 and iron 3 the first one transition metals have high melting point it is related to this one okay 
we want a statement illustrate the first one we want we have choices and we want one illustrate the first statement of our question okay question number b transition metals form colored compounds we didn't talk about what about the colors transition metals are magnetic no we didn't have any magnetic iron oxide here transition metals and their compounds make good catalyst maybe and it is not of our point also of the question the last one here we have transition metals can have more than one ions okay yes it is the right answer here for this question it means that we go from the oxidation state plus two and the plus three we have more than iron if we have iron two and iron three fe o h by two and fe o h by three so we have a uh, more than one iron okay let's go to question nine question nine says that which of the following is not common property of most transition metals okay we have properties here in our choices and we want the one not common property of most transition metal please try to read the statement slowly to know he want the common property or not a common property okay it's very simple question but we need to concentrate or fix our mistakes in reading quickly question okay the first choice here we have the transi transition metals form colored compound okay second one transition metals have low density do you think that okay we have c transition metals react slowly or not all with acid number d transition metals react slowly or not at all with the water and the last one here we have transition metals have high melting point do you think what it will be not a common property of transition metal i think it's easy question we have here they have low density okay this is a property that belongs to the alkali metals not our transition metal most of alkali metals have low density and we make a preservation for them in some of them in kerosene oil and some of them in paraffin oil so this is a property belongs to the alkali metal only but here we have the transition metals they all of them have high density and very very heavy metals okay let's go to question 10 which of the following is not a reason not a reason why transition metals copper transition metal copper is used in wiring okay we have the first one copper is strong second one copper is unreactive okay copper is ductile and copper is colored or the last one copper is a good conductor of electricity okay do you think wiring means make a wires we have not a reason why transition metal copper is used in wiring not a reason we have here copper is colored it's not effective with what is the color of copper maybe the maybe dark red brown or maybe yellow or maybe what or maybe silver in color but it's not our important but copper is strong and can be very effective in transferring charges and ductile ore can make in different kinds of wires unreactive not affected by the transferring charges or make a reaction or increase in temperature that making fires and also it will be a good conductor of electricity but not reaches to what not reaches to high temperature that making fires okay so it's not our reason in wiring or making wires in using copper or very effective in it not the color of the 
copper here and not very important which is the color of our element but we wanted to know if we want a wire we have the different purpose to make it and it depends on the substance that we use okay that's going to question 11 and our last question of our group today question 11 says that which of the following statement explains why platinum palladium rubidium are used in converters in car exhausts okay we have different elements and in the car converter presence of car exhausts this kind of metals that make a collision of poisonous gases that can't be reached to the air that prevents air pollution okay what is the one explain this or the reason that we use these heavy elements okay the first one transition metal make a good catalyst transition metals react slowly or not at all with acid do you think it's uh, connecting with our question transition metals are very dense number d transition metals have high melting point and the last one transition metals form colored compounds okay if we have the reaction here the the first that we make the converter very effective that collect as i say the business gases transition metals are very dense that have the ability to collect the the, the the poisonous gases that comes out from the car exhaust or from burning of fuel and collecting them on the surface as they have they have a kind of alloy that making it what interstitial that can enter the gases inside it or in the spaces between the molecules okay this is the last question of our group today thanks for joining i hope you enjoy this kind of questions maybe they are simple at all but we have uh, different questions if you have any question we have a different kind of communication please if you have any questions don't don't make any choices but you have what you have connect us anytime okay i hope you enjoy thanks for joining goodbye and good luck